Well, hey there, idiots. Welcome back to Observe. In today's video, we're gonna be analyzing the nonverbal communication of Jordan Cheyenne. If you don't know who that is, I'll explain a little bit here after the intro. Okay, so we were going through a little bit of a dry spell there on YouTube without having some influencer or another do something to show us all how terrible of a human being they really are. So, I don't know. I've been having a rough couple days here as I've been trying to navigate copyright things with Netflix and all this other stuff going through, and I got to really sit down and think a bit about how much work really can go into this if you're trying to make good and quality content for people to consume. Alternatively, you could be something like a family vlogger and just do normal stuff all day, but really try to hone in on your children and monetize them as heavily as possible so that you can be rich and their lives can be ruined. So on that front, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this video today. So to set the scene for you, Jordan Cheyenne, like I said, vlogger often has her kids on the channel, but not heavily, heavily featured as some of the other people that we have seen on YouTube who do that. She got a new puppy and the puppy came down with Parvo, which is very intense. And for those of you who don't know, Parvo can really, it, it can kill a puppy pretty fast. So very intense, very stressful, and very heart-wrenching, especially for children. Now, Jordan released a video with her and her son in the car right shortly after receiving some news about their puppy. And her son is in a very rough way. I'm gonna point out some of the nonverbal communication that could allow us to see some of these manipulation tactics that she uses, and then hopefully also allow you to be able to see that as well. And so she does this video, which you'll see it's atrocious. And then she offers an apology video after that, which you'll see is atrocious. And then she offers another Instagram live style video after that, which you'll see is atrocious. But I am gonna actually try to walk into this trying to have an unbiased perspective. It's gonna be hard for me because I really, I really dislike this style of content. So those are things that I, I understand in and of myself and with that in mind, I can hopefully counteract that. Enough talking from me, enough backstory. It's time to actually look at the videos themselves and see what the nonverbal communication can tell us. So let's go. It's okay, it's okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Look at me, look at me, look at me. We have to do this, look at me. So I will let you know, she has deleted this video because she wanted to try to cover her tracks. Didn't go well, here it is here. Uh, it is re-time stamped because it was a re-upload from somebody else that I took and had to stretch back out and put back up so you'll hear it sounding weird. Also, I have blurred the child's face so that he can have some form of anonymity. Let's go ahead and continue this and we'll talk about the nonverbal stuff she displays here. She's going to be okay. Repeat this. Say, Rosie is healthy. Rosie's Look at me. Rosie is healthy. Rosie's Look at me. Healthy. Rosie's beautiful. Rosie's Rosie beautiful. is strong. Rosie's strong. She is healthy. She's healthy. She will make it. She will make it. She will make it. I'm not going to comment too much on parenting because I do not have kids myself. I have some dogs and that's different than children, obviously. I will say that she does sound a little bit harsh and aggressive in her tone, especially while the child is obviously having a difficult time. Maybe that's how she tries to parent is through the like gruff and tumble kind of thing. It does seem a little aggressive, but that's not the point of this video. So let's continue. She will make it. She will make it. It's crazy. No, no matter how much you know about positive mindset, law of attraction, it doesn't matter how much. Okay. So I'm gonna start pointing out some of where her fakeness is showing through. Primarily what you will notice is the desynchronization from the top half and the lower half of her face mixed in with her voice. So she's trying to portray that she's sad, right? Obviously her son is sad. And so she's trying to portray that she is, but the only ways that she's doing it is with sniffles and with trying to show emotion in her voice. If you watch the rest of her face, the desynchronization is extremely prevalent, especially as no sign, no hint or glimmer of sadness reaches the upper half of her face and her eyes and eyebrows and forehead where you would oftentimes see very prevalent signs of grief. 
So that desynchronization leads me to two conclusions. Either one, she has heavy, heavy work done on her eyes, eyebrows, and forehead to where nothing can emote at all. Doubt that. And then the other option is that she's not genuinely feeling the emotion, which seems to be more true. You'll see why that seems to be more true here in a second. If you're educated on that, when you're in the moment, it's still so hard to not feel sad. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go. I need to go be there for Christian. I just wanted to give you an update because so many of you turned on the- That line there. That should hopefully make you mad in a second. I need to go. I need to be there for Christian. I'm assuming Christian is her son's name. Yes. Yes, she should have been there for her son to begin with. That should have been her priority, period. Let's go. Countdown reminders for my new video today and you wanted to see our big news. Please pray for her. I know she's going to make it through. She's an amazing, beautiful little girl, and I can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of her family. So during this time, I know that she's going to make it through. Has a lot of difficulty making eye contact with the lens during that. That breaking of eye contact just kind of can indicate that they might not be fully sincere or might at least be unsure of what they're saying. This is not a steadfast rule. Just because somebody's not looking at your eyes doesn't mean that they're lying to you. Along with that, she has some micro movements no with her head as well, which are another indicator of possible desynchronization across the positive words of I know mixed with the negative of the I don't know with the head shake. That could be a desynchronization point as well. And then she just crashes into this full-faced expression of grief. But the fact that it onsets so suddenly and so strongly kind of can indicate that it is forced there is a profile to a person's emotions that it follows each time. So it's very rare to just see somebody go from here to like sad, just like uh, kind of thing. It just, it doesn't happen that way in emotions. It slips out for a little bit and then it grows into the full fledged emotional profile and then fades away. So those indicator or so those, those tells there kind of indicate to me that this is a fake grief thing. She's definitely putting on a show right now. Let's continue. So if you could pray for us, we appreciate it. I love you guys. <laughs> come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. So she puts her... She puts her hand over the lens. And now we already see that, that emotional state that she was trying to well up there at the end, which we established was fake, is already gone. This goes against every emotion profile that I have ever seen. And now we're going to see her true colors for a little bit here. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Close down. Put your head down here. <laughs> Act like you're crying really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, I'm not that bad. She's usually crying. No, I know. But go like this for the video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. No, I'm not that bad. She's crying. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, look at me. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's over, it's over, it's over. All right. That overt level of manipulation is rarely able to be followed up by a very clear behind the scenes right afterwards. You and I are usually only privy to that first part where we can see the desynchronization and we understand that things are fake and forced and it's all for a show. And it's very rare that a content creator will do something like this and accidentally leave up how terrible of a human being they actually are. Notice that there is zero emotional reflection between the mother and the child in this point, which is horrible. That means that she's not empathizing on any level with her child's actual pain in that moment and that's disgusting and for her to be so solely focused on getting a thumbnail about just making a, a, a very tragic situation and traumatizing situation for her son into a clickable thumbnail story i need to make money off of this is just disgusting and she's been receiving death threats and negative comments since posting this and i think many people understand why i don't think it's a death threat situation for everybody who wants to do that sort of thing don't do that but the negative repercussions for her actions are definitely at some level warranted because that was atrocious behavior and left me very very upset uh, as a content creator, I could never fathom trying to make this style of video 
and sit comfortably and look at myself in the mirror afterwards and being like, you know what? I really did some good work today. Today is I accomplished something. I made, I made a good thumbnail of my son in actual pain. I coached him through it to make him look like he was more sad than he was. I uploaded this story about our ailing dog, which you can see that I don't really care that much about. And all in all, it's just probably gonna get a bunch of views. Well, it was getting a bunch of views until she realized what she had done. She tried to trim the video down and that didn't work because it was already going places on the internet as it should have. And then she tried to take it down and that's not gonna work because here it is now today so that she can be held accountable for what she's done. And then she tried to release an ap apology is what I'll say, an apology video. So let, let's watch that apology. It has been such an emotional day. And I put up that video maybe 30 minutes ago. In the ending of the video, I was just so emotionally, honestly, completely worn out, emotional crying the whole day. I don't buy it right now. So there's there's not a, too many scientific reasons that I don't buy it. I am trying to counteract my own bias towards her because as I've said, I have one. What's kind of lending me to believe that she's not being sincere on this is due to the fact that she's speaking of a certain emotional group and there's not a hint of a reflection in her tone or nonverbal communication during that time. She also does have a continual head shake no while saying of all these things that she's felt or has done, and that's not necessarily an indicator of full-on deceit, but it could be an indicator of desynchronization. And so between these two things of having those two tells against her story, I'm less likely to be inclined to believe her on that front. But it's not enough to scientifically go on to be like, ah, she's, she's just blowing smoke at us. We all probably feel that she is. I'm going to see if she scientifically is too. I had Christian on my shoulder and I was like, here, come here, compose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. And so many of you commented about it. The first video I uploaded, I forgot to edit out like my bloopers. So I edited out the ending. Yeah, it was really disgusting of you to do. Um, no argument there. Good point on that front. I, I bothers me. Even with her recollection of how she was speaking to her son during that moment, she sounded more nice in her recollection than she did in the actual moment, and that is still just hammering home this very disgusting character quality that she has. Um, this this is feeling more like a rushed through saving face rather than a genuine remorseful apology. Also for it to have happened so quickly afterwards, this sounds like a knee jerk reaction kind of thing rather than an actual like, I'm sorry for my, my actions in general. So, but let's see, let's see. And so many of you said, girl, we already saw that. We're so disappointed in you, in the mom you are. Like, why would you make him pose for a thumbnail? And my, like my heart like dropped. I rewatched the footage and I cannot believe I rewatched it. And you guys are completely right. A hundred million percent right. And I so hope you know that I'm genuine about that. You guys are completely right. Still that little desynchronization between a positive and a negative non-verbally speaking. And then she re-emphasizes it on top of that with a hundred million percent right. All the while also having trouble making eye contact. Uh, I don't believe her in this front. That's not fully scientific still, but I am still collecting more of these tells that show that she's not genuine here. I don't know. You know, let me know in the comments what you're thinking so far. Uh, let's keep going. Because today was, I'll tell you all about the puppy another day, but we basically got a puppy. Her name is Rosie. We're hoping that she's going to make it through. She has Parvo. We've been in the emergency vet clinic all day. It's so wrong. I should have never done that. Looking back at the footage, I'm so disgusted with myself. I want to thank those of you who brought that to my attention. Um, uh, brought it to her attention. She wasn't aware that she was being a complete tool. She needed it brought to her attention. Um, mm -mm. that's not nonverbal. That's just not okay. Some people were like, oh, she's turning off comments because she's ignoring it. This is not me ignoring it. This is me coming on camera five minutes after it happened. No makeup, nothing coming on and saying, I'm so sorry. Anytime I make a mistake in life or my friends or family do, I'm the first person to say, I will still respect that person if they own it and they say, sorry. Uh, Perception management as well. So she's saying, oh, this isn't, 
pre planned and prepared and obviously it wasn't if this is genuinely five minutes afterwards it's not planned or prepared or anything like that and that's also still what kind of leads me to believe that this is a knee-jerk saving face reaction rather than genuine remorse also the genuine remorse tells that you might expect to slip through on a micro level a subconscious level are in no way slipping through at this point regardless she's saying one thing her nonverbal communication is definitely uh showing a different thing all the way around and back on the perception management she said uh, i am definitely the type of person that if somebody owns up to what they did and apologizes sincerely then i you know i still believe in them kind of thing and that's her trying to tell us what to do in a roundabout way so she's saying yeah i'm genuinely apologizing no she's not and i expect you the audience to see that apology and accept it and let me move forward from this terrible thing now you know what, I'll talk a little bit more about how I feel about it closer towards the end um, and why this is so unacceptable, but we'll get there. People sending me extremely harassing, cussing, violent DMs on Instagram, that is never okay. I love my son. We are going through a very emotional situation with the new puppy and me trying to get that thumbnail was just so wrong and such poor judgment of me, but it does not condone internet bullying and violence and harassment is a crime. I've gotten some DMs that are disgusting. No one deserves that. I'm not tolerating that. I will own up to- Okay. Cussing, neither here nor there. People can cuss at whoever they want to. Bullying, I don't condone. I do condone having people held accountable for their actions. And on this one, she's trying to blame shift so much to the people that are sending her hate for her terrible actions that she's trying to weasel out from her own. She'll say something like, uh, you know, I did something, it was terrible judgment, but the bullying that I've got, people are saying mean things at me now. And that's just not okay. To an extent, true. I, I think that bullying on the internet is very overt and very harmful and many people are just there to be vile. And so I can understand that side of things. But ironically, I also seem to hold uh, monetizing your children's grief at the same kind of level of vile. So, sorry. Um, Oopsie poopsie. Uh, let's continue. Everything that I do that is wrong and I will change it, but that is not okay. I will not accept that. If I... You guys know I've always been open to criticism my entire career, like social media career, always. But if you are cussing or saying something violent about my child or me or threatening us, I have every right to block you. I am. If there is a person that's out there and sending violent stuff, especially towards the child, grow up. The most that they should do is have to rethink their entire approach as, of their careers and, and maybe do something that's human and humane to their children. That's what should happen. Violence, threats, death threats, anything like that, that, that shouldn't exist here. So I don't condone that and I can understand her frustration on that level, but this isn't talking about her followers or people giving her hate. This is supposed to be her apologizing for her bad behavior. Keep that in mind. I'm going to turn off comments on this video only because, not because I can't handle it or I can't respond back. First of all, I, there's no way I'll be able to respond back to all of them. We're already in such a sad, fragile state. I'm going to be up all night tonight checking in with the vet, hoping my new puppy makes it through the night. So I'm going to turn off comments on this video just because I'm already so emotionally, I literally, I can't even take it tonight. I'm so mentally, I literally cannot even take, like I'm mentally at capacity. Okay. For those who didn't watch that or didn't watch... So I couldn't find the rest of that. I think she deleted this as well. I mean, to be fully honest, I dug around for a bit and I had trouble locating her channel. So maybe she's made that private as well. There was a different way to handle what she did all the way around and it's largely don't publish it. And if you're gonna publish it, don't make your kid the, the hinging factor of all of it. That's, you're a joke if you do that. Wow, wow, wow. Um, but this is an Instagram, I think, from what I understand, this is an Instagram live that she posted and then reposted to her channel, I believe. Just more, more content for us to be able to observe to see if there are any, any signs of these emotional states that she's talking about herself having. Let's see. My YouTube video, I am absolutely, genuinely horrified and disgusted with myself that I got to a place where I made Christian pose with me for a thumbnail and such an emotional 
emotional moment rather than prioritizing his mental health. I am horrified, so disappointed in myself, I can't even tell you. It is not okay, it is wrong on so many levels. He will not be in my content moving forward. I'm completely re-strategizing what to do for the future. And I have talked about it on YouTube twice and I would say the most in-depth thing that I've done is on the Dad Challenge podcast this morning. It's about an hour if you would like to watch. I will put the link here. I am turning off my DMs for today solely because you guys know I've always been open to constructive criticism, but I'm getting comments on my channel for eight years. I'm always open to constructive criticism. I What I am not open to is people putting out my personal private information, sending that type of stuff is never, never okay. I'm not standing for it. It is absolutely terrible. I will. That part I still will agree with. <sighs> Holding a person accountable for what they've done is one thing all the way around. And then to go so far as to send death threats or to put a person's personal information, especially a person who's even somewhat in the spotlight as she is, personal information out on the internet during an inflammatory time like that, that that's really, that's not, that's not acceptable. Man, if if some of you are watching this, and I, I really do hope deep down in my soul that none of you watching this have done this, but if you are watching this and you're one of those people that put out her personal information or sent her violent or death style messages, what on earth is wrong with you? What? Just because you have the privilege of not being in the spotlight, you think that you can do something like that then? No, 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 no. She's not the only one who did wrong in this situation. It's the other people who are being just as dumb over here that are sending death threats or putting out personal information or whatever have you like that. They're, they're real wrong too. So I just wanted to make my stance real clear on this, uh, but let's continue watching and then we'll talk about all the opinions at the end. Take all the concern criticism, excuse me, in the world. And I'm so incredibly aware that I feel so bad. I have, haven't been able to sleep, have had anxiety. I'm so disappointed in myself. And I am dealing with the situation personally and with my son and he's completely fine. He, he doesn't even know what like a thumbnail is. He, we had to talk about it after and he's completely fine, but I am absolutely horrified at myself, disappointed, disgusted, all the things that I'm sure you guys have already seen on the internet. This is I am just so in shock that I let myself get to that level. I'm disappointed. All right, so, and I couldn't find anything more than that. She's done a remarkably good job at cleaning up her tracks on the internet. I'm glad that I can make it to where people can still follow them because I think her goal in this, from what I can see, and I'll give you, non-verbally speaking, there was a massive amount of desynchronization between the two. We saw multiple points of having no shakes where there should be yes shakes. We saw areas of uh, top and lower half desynchronization. And we've seen these general verbal patterns that are kind of a little bit more revealing. My opinion on the matter, she's not as sorry as she's trying to claim she is. She is likely in sheer panic mode because she's seeing her career fall apart in front of her. And I'm quite okay with that specific career falling apart. And here's, here's my reasoning. You can tell by how she handled the situation with her son and the, the crying and posing for a thumbnail that when mommy's in work time, that's all that matters. Work takes precedence over everything else and including the, the kids' well-being, especially in a time like this. And for us to be so naive to think that this is a one-time thing, that she's probably done this only one time, is extremely naive. The, the ease with which she did it, the confidence with which she spoke during those instructional times really shows that this is not the first time that she has coached people to give a specific thumbnail, i.e. fake thumbnail. And the fact that she was doing it towards a chi any child, let alone her own son, is even more despicable that she could be at that comfort level while doing so to her son is a true testament to her character. Right now, it seems as though she is just in emergency cleanup mode. She wants to get rid of everything that pointed this direction. Perhaps, you know, perhaps she will change her content from here on out. Maybe she will not be just a, a, a parasite of the YouTube system with clickable, child-driven thumbnails. Maybe, maybe. It was hard for me to be able to approach this objectively. And it was hard for me to want to stay objective as I walk, 
walked through it and kind of paid attention to what her nonverbal communication said. Um, if you're watching this and you're a subscriber of this channel, or even if you're not, I don't, don't, don't go and send more hate her way. Don't, especially, especially violence or like death threats or personal information. Don't post anything. If you know anything about her, keep it quiet. I don't want any harm to befall them because of, of her ignorance. I hope that even with the risk of her entire YouTube channel being shut down, I hope that that's enough for her to reevaluate and, and really think about who she is as a character. But please do not go and send hate over there or anything along those lines. I wanna be able to make you aware of the manipulation that she has done and might continue doing. Pay attention for her red flags and make sure that she is held accountable for what she has done appropriately. I think that's how I'll wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, but without further ado, that's all that I've got for today. My name is Logan and you have been oh so awesome as you always are, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.